So today I'm down by the creek and I'm trying to hunt down some morel mushrooms. It's one of the uh, the springtime treats that I get around here and I think I found some so stay tuned and I'll show you. I'm, I'm pretty excited. So one of the key indicators I look for are sycamores and then you see all this wonderful green briar here and for some weird reason there's like this symbiotic relationship that they like to coincide with and um i think i see one right there do you guys see it now usually she's a little older tops a little crispy right there look at that yeah just pinch it off the face all right there's one and you always, always look in the same area because if there's one, there is more. And I think I'll hit up one of my normal spots and I'll try to find some ramps as well. They are also fantastic and I can cook both of these together. Oh, my stick just fell down. But um, yeah, let's look around. Do you guys see it anywhere in there? I do. You see him? There we go. Heck yeah. around I'll be back I'm sure they're everywhere in here right now so I love these sycamores I always find these things around the sycamores and I have another location I would like to check out but there's a little white right here you see him this one's a lot fresher the top's not crispy This is a new one. This must have just popped up either last night or this morning. These two are a little older, but I'm pretty, pretty excited about this. They're gonna be so good. I just gotta keep searching and uh, see what I can find. So this is what I have so far. And honestly, I see another one. And uh, I feel like if I just fell down in this patch that I would find one. So let me go see if I can hunt down the other one. I see it right over there. You see it right there? There she is. Okay. Just need to slow it down so I don't step on any. I can't tell you how excited I am. Kind of looking around. See if there's anything around me. It just seems like as soon as I take a breather and I look up, they're everywhere. I just keep moving from one spot to the other, but I don't want to completely ignore this patch. But the creek seems to be up. It's a little higher. I'd like to do some fishing here. Maybe get a couple videos done of that, but. Uh, We'll see. We'll definitely see. I'll be back. So my uncle, uh, Joe, he is super passionate about morel hunting and he kind of taught me a lot um, about it, what to look for, you know, being under these sycamore trees right here to finding some trees that have the bark starting to sloth off of them that are dying. Um, this has always been a really good spot for me. 
and there's another spot out on the farm that I might check but I think since I'm in close proximity to where I know there are some ramps I'm gonna go hit that up um, my plan is to eventually transplant some of those out to try to be able to propagate a whole nother patch over on my farm so we'll see what happens I'll see you guys in a bit There's some ramps right here. They didn't do very good this year, which is kind of depressing. I feel like maybe that frost got them. But we can dig some up and see what's going on. So that's a little depressing. Um, I have some here. They're totally edible, but uh, they we got hit with some weird weather here in Ohio. And unfortunately, I think that snow in this cold weather has kind of put a hurting on them but they're good so I'll dig up a few and I'll get the camera set up so you guys can see what I'm looking for This right here is a ramp, and I didn't mean to pull that bulb out, but you can eat these too. And there's plenty of them around here right now, so I might take a few of them, but for the most part, I just collect the leaves. So some foragers here in Ohio, they uh, kind of decimate the ramp populations, and obviously we got a good patch here. Um, but it seems like some of this cold weather has dampened the quality of them, which kind of stinks, but uh, they're still edible, so let's grab a few more. And that is why you don't buy cheap stuff. The metal breaks. Nope. Time to go find a stick. Some 
is less than desirable stuff. Shovel and brakes make a dig stick. So I like these ramps because they taste like onions and garlic had a baby. You like the shallot of the woods? Trying to find a cluster for where they all are. I'm gonna put my stick in. Go down, kind of fry up a little bit. Try to free up some of that dirt around the base of those bulbs. They're a perennial. Come up every year. About the same time as the morels. So they're, they make this wonderful little marriage of deliciousness. Right. I'm going to leave the rest of them alone. But I'm actually going to take some of these back and try to start my own patch, which will be extremely helpful. But as you can see, they're perennial. They have these bulbs. Root system grows into a stalk. 
you can cut them off at the base and eat everything up here. One of the things I like to do, honestly, is just cut them up and uh, fry them up in some butter, salt, and pepper and uh, enjoy them as is. But those are ramps. So stay tuned and I will cook up some morels and some ramps today. Maybe we'll find some more. Who knows what we'll come across.